come back. I went ahead and finished that last little rock. I don't think I'm going to do anything with this one because I don't really like that color. <laughs> so basically to do the bottom, I just mixed a little of the bubble gum from Waverly. That's the high gloss with a little bit of, I think this is fuchsia. Yes. And that's the same paint just to make the bottom a little bit darker and I just basically go around and I always start lower because if you get too high you know you can't go back down without fixing the stripes so just start low to see if that's where you want the bottom of your little flip-flop to be because I like to kind of see mine when it's sitting down on the ground. I kind of like to see the side of it. Trust me. I'm going to mix a little bit more up. Or if you have a dark color, you can just add white to this and do the lighter color on the top and use that for the bottom. If you don't have two colors that look similar. Ooh, probably not on camera. <laughs> I'm so used to painting close, you know, close to me. It's hard to paint when you have to put your arms out. And you can do the bottom if you want to, or you can leave it plain. It's up to you. If you, that's my foot sliding up against my I have one of those little scrap book boxes under my desk so <laughs> my foot is kind of sliding up against it and the sound that it doesn't sound too pleasant all right let's see I think that's good. So I'm going to flip this over and just paint the bottom a little bit. And hopefully I can move it out the way. Let me go ahead and put it right here. Of course, this will take a couple of coats to cover that up. Now we can move on to this one. And I think I'm just going to do the same color, maybe a little bit lighter on the bottom of this flip flop. See what that looks like. And you can, if you want to get fancy with it, you can paint in some shadows and highlights. Or you can just leave it like this. That's not too bad. Just lay that one over and throw some paint on the bottom. I 
can't remember which color I used, but actually, actually they're both the same. Summer Haze by Martha Stewart. She has a lot of nice color variety on her paints. I, I really like them. these dry. This is the, probably the most difficult part right here. Uh, strap. And basically you need to use a pencil and a good eraser because of course, well I'm not perfect but <laughs> these can be a little tedious. So just look on some images on the internet and count or look at your own flip flops and see the way they're shaped. I kind of like to make them like this with the little round piece right here to look, to look like they're, I guess, flipped under. I don't know how to say it, but um, that's the way I like to make mine. And just look at your rock and see which way um, you want which side you want to draw the strap on. I think I'm going to do it down here. And if you would look at your own flip flop, actually I have flip flops on now. The center is, I mean the part at the top of the straps is really not directly in the center of your flip flop. It's over to the side a little bit. So you can go in and mark maybe where the two straps would come in and I'm pretty sure this is dry yeah and so I basically I'm gonna use this one I just kind of come down and I draw the outer part of the strap first and you might have to play around with it and then I uh, So I basically draw mine. I don't know if you can see it. Kind of like that. And then we can go in and paint the strap. And let's see, what color do we want to make of this one? Let's make it something really different. Should we do it red? This is Lovebird. Let's just do something different. The good thing about this is if you don't like it, you can cover it up because it's just acrylic paint. And I might not like this color <laughs> once I get one. Um, you can do your straps different if you want to. You don't have to do them this way. You can make them really skinny or... Any, any which way you want to do them. I just kind of make them just like this. And when I paint, I tend to be kind of quiet. Sometimes I hold my breath <laughs> when I'm painting delicate parts. Because I'm trying not to shake. Okay, so that's pretty much the way I make my little straps. And then I'll just take some white and kind of mix it in with the color that I'm using. And 
and this takes practice. I mean, you kind of want to make a little bit of highlights on your strap. You can dry brush them on, or you can do any any kind of way you like to make your little highlights. I kind of just gradually build lighter color up on the strap. Well, like I said, I'm not perfect, so I have to go back and fix these things. And it doesn't help that I'm a perfectionist either. Sometimes that can take the fun out of doing your projects. So basically once you get your little highlights the way you like, I'm going to finish up. I don't want to sit here and try to get that just perfect. Then you can go in and add a little um, watered down black. Almost dry. Kind of add some shadows. Where the flip flop comes over. And by the time you add some dark color in there and you keep adding your highlights you can kind of tell where the flat I mean the little strap comes down and flips and goes down the side of the flip flop so basically that's all you gotta just keep working at if you want to do that now you don't have to do this acrylic paint dries very fast so you have to work fast if you're doing it like this. Okay, so that's looking kind of good. Alright, I really don't want to take up a lot of time showing fine detail of a flip-flop rock. Because basically you just go in and um, add some highlights to it. So you can define that little strap on there as best you can. And once you get that on, then you can leave it just like this. Or you can add a little flower on the top or anything you want to. I know a lot of flip-flops have little flowers or something on the top of it. And that's basically all I do. You can, at the top, hold on, let me show you one thing. You can kind of add the little strap, you know, the little piece coming down where they two straps meet and they go down in your flip flop. Then you can add a little 
make it look like where it's going down into the flip flop itself. <laughs> I think I've said flip flop 50 million times on this video. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to keep working and I might just speed this up so you can just see how I finish all, all of these little summertime flip flops. So thanks for watching and subscribing. I hope that you can make something like this this summer to put out in your flower garden or wherever you want to put them. They're really cute and it, you know, would look really good if we got a huge rock and painted a, a really big flip-flop. Maybe you could write something on the bottom, um, like flip-flops welcome here. So just something cute for the summer. So that's it. Um, the next video, I might just speed it up so you can kind of see how I finish these. And you guys have a good one and take care. Hey guys, Karen here. I just wanted to show you what these little flip flops look like. I really wanted to paint them and let you watch me paint them, but I just have not felt great at all today. So I went ahead and put some straps on to kind of get an idea of how they ended up looking. And I think they are really cute. Um, once you get your base color on and then you decorate your little pattern, just draw your little strap on and base coat it and then you can put your little highlights and your little shadows just around the bottom of the strap and I think these look really cute um, these are the old ones and of course these are the new ones and I'm probably I'm gonna paint another rock to go out with them but they turn out cute you can put little flowers on them or whatever you want to you can really fix them up uh, really detailed, I guess I would want to say. But hopefully I will be back later on this week with another junk journal page. Like I said, I have one with a whole layout of popcorn. Let me see if I can find it in this book real quick so you can see. Um, every once in a while I'll pick up these magazines because they have some really good pictures. Oh, here it is. So I thought this would be really neat to cut out. And maybe this over here and kind of make a um, just a movie junk journal page of some of the movies you've watched this year you know just to keep up with what you've been doing in your journal so that's probably gonna be the next one I think it's gonna look kind of cool and that's the HGTV magazine for May 2017 so anyway, that is it from me, and until next, guys, until next time, you guys, stay safe, and thank you for subscribing to my channel, and hopefully I will have another journal page by the end of this week. Take care.